So XRP will not reach $50. Now there's some major hype out there that could get you in some trouble if you fall blindly into it. And when there is so much greed in the market, eventually or inevitably XRP ultimately ends up dumping. So we're going to first start off with FedNow news because there is a lot in the Ripple ecosystem mentioning this FedNow payment system and how it's going to eventually integrate XRP into its payment system, causing billions of dollars to flow into Ripple, propping it up to maybe $15 because of this. Now, the U.S. Federal Reserve has launched its new payment service system, and that is what FedNow is. Now, it allows for almost instantaneous money transfers, bringing the U.S. in line with other countries that have already adopted instant payment systems. So the service aims to provide faster and more convenient everyday payments with 35 banks and credit unions, including JP Morgan, Chase, and Wells Fargo. Those are billion-dollar corporations, multi-billions. So FedNow's functionality aligns with the principles that are advocated in cryptocurrencies and blockchains, making it easier to move money around. So what are they doing? They are regulating cryptocurrency incredibly hard, but on the other side, they're trying to copy and imitate its technology and integrate it into their own government financial system. So in my eyes, it looks like a digital US dollar is coming, but the Federal Reserve has denied any such intention. They clarified that FedNow is not related to a digital currency and is not a step towards eliminating any form of payment, including cash. Well, why in the world would they say if that is their entire reason for creating FedNow, it would create sort of a short-term panic in the financial system. But seeing how FedNow is working effortlessly without the integration of XRP, there is no need for XRP to integrate into FedNow. So we have some recent court rulings for XRP, of course, that created this huge momentum where it jumped up to 80 cent price points. But while the recent court ruling in favor of XRP have resulted in the short term rally and increased trade volume, it does not necessarily guarantee that xrp will surpass bitcoin and ethereum in the long run so the price projection by bitboy of 15 dollars or even 35 dollars for xrp seems way overly optimistic he's not the only one that's optimistic of these price points because ripple labs is optimistic that american banks will start using xrp and its products following the legal ruling now, it was perceived positively by investors, and Ripple's general counsel expects U.S. banks to adopt their on-demand liquidity products. So it's essential to consider that XRP has faced regulator scrutiny in the past, and the SEC is definitely not done with this battle. They're going to continue to attack the SEC due to the fact that the judge did also believe that the sale during the IPO to its institutional investors could have been considered illegal. So while BitBoy mentions the possibility of an IPO by Ripple as a potential catalyst for XRP's growth, it's important to note that an IPO does not guarantee success. Now, this is followed by his tweet here that he mentions $15 is reasonable. I believe over 18 months or so, if they IPO and time it correctly, could be up to $35 in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and do the math exactly to see what is ultimately Ripple going to look like if it IPOs and reaches that price point, because currently it is ranked number five in the world in cryptocurrencies and it has been dropping lately at 69 cents because of this false hype and people getting caught into liquidity traps. So currently, let's say Ripple has a market cap of $36 billion. And for it to reach $16 price points, $15 price points, it would need to 23x from its current price point, putting the market cap just above 
$800 billion. So for it to reach $15 price points, $800 billion would have to flow into Ripple within the next 18 months in order to go ahead and reach BitBoy's price prediction. Do you believe that that is possible? Because the Bitcoin bull run is coming in 2025. So it may fall in line into that. But $800 billion is a bit too much if you ask me. So for it to reach $35, the market cap, of course, would have to reach above 1.7 1.8 trillion dollars in that short span of time and that is incredibly far-fetched seeing as bitcoin is not even at a trillion dollar market cap now you can make the argument that the next having that takes place will go ahead and take bitcoin past two to three trillion dollars but that doesn't mean that ripple is going to go ahead and be from fifth place and jump all the way to first place surpassing bitcoin's market cap at three trillion dollars so there is a lot to analyze seeing as you have to go hand in hand with each prediction if you believe ripple is going to reach above 15 dollars price points then that means you believe bitcoin and ethereum are going to hit certain price points as well because if banks ultimately end up adopting ripple which is incredibly far-fetched then what does that mean for the adoption of other cryptocurrencies like ethereum like bitcoin and stable coins like tether which ultimately are going to flow into other altcoins as the money triples down and flows into all of these market caps i believe the market caps is going to be shared and at absolute best case scenario ripple maybe hits eight to ten dollar price points so short term price prediction possibilities a dollar is very easily attainable but you can see the massive dump that it has been experiencing in the past 24 hours and i believe it could reach down to the lower 60 cent price point levels before ultimately reattempting to make its way back up of course there's many outside factors causing it to sway each and every way fomo plays a part into it fud plays a part into it i believe after it reached the 65 cent price point levels that's when fomo started taking in causing it to rise up to 80 cents but seeing as it has dropped off ever since that is due to the fact that there's a lot of negative sentiment news releasing including the sec asserting that the ripple case was wrongly decided and signals an appeal is coming now of course if they end up submitting this appeal and they win then there goes all the gains wiped out of ripple in the short term but if they ultimately submit this appeal and lose the quite opposite will play where ripple reattempts and breaks that dollar price point in the short term so you guys go ahead and let me think where you believe ripple will head i'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next one be sure to smash that like subscribe and don't fall into any traps.